Huwag may kumakagid sa pero mayroon mo ba? Asudlas ATB. Okay, good morning. Good morning, everybody. How was your day? It's quite a busy day, no? Let's just take the day casual. By the way, um, it's 216 more days to go before Christmas. Aren't you excited? <laughs> I chose to count the days before Christmas. It's because just to bring a forward-looking spirit back. 
amidst the pandemic, amidst the crisis that we're facing, um, it would somehow give us a source of a bit of hope, no? a bit of hope that it's not bad after all. No? It's not bad after all that we are going through in such a situation right now. But anyway, no, um, it's 9.45, it's right on time and it's right on schedule. Here at DPPI, we wanted to develop a culture that says that Filipino time is on time. Uh, that's what we believe. No? Um, being late was actually never been a Filipino culture. It was always been a Hispanic culture. No? That's always been a Hispanic culture. It's not our original culture. But anyway, today is that we're going to walk you through to what are the things that you're going to be doing here in DPPI being partners as a real estate agent. Now, just to set all the expectations, um, being, in the, being in this business is not, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, I'll be honest with you. It's not gonna be easy, but it is doable. No, it's not easy, but it's doable. Um, it's not quick, but can be learned actually. And at the same time, what you really need here is actually a little bit of a patience. No? Um, it's, it's patience because uh, the information that you're going to be receiving is so overwhelming, meaning there's going to be a lot and practically you cannot absorb everything. No? We cannot absorb everything. And in fact, even the person who recruited you doesn't know everything. No? Doesn't know everything. Sometimes uh, we jokingly said na, Hindi naman ako Diyos na alam ko lahat ang, ang sagot sa mga tanong. No? But anyway, what my, my point here is this, that what is important that we, that we are able to understand the process flow. That, that is what is important, the process flow. Uh, we may not have all the details we have at, at front, right at our very hand, but as long as we know the process where to go to, I bet we, we will be able to get our information just in time. And again, yun, sabi ko, kikilangan lang talaga patience. No? Kailangan talaga natin dito patience. But anyway, before I go there, this afternoon, we will be having a very important uh, event. No? Now, John Dorf is one of the pre premier developers all over the country, would be joining with us. Now, it took a lot of time for me to convince them. No? It really took me a lot of time to convince them because they, they, really don't, they really did not give out some PKS. They, they won't give PKS. Not until the time I give, I give the, the in charge, the assurance, that I can deliver them 50 attendants this afternoon. Okay. Now, uh, I don't want to fail that because it will set again the, another expectation. Because if, I, if we cannot deliver it this afternoon... Then, the next time we will ask them for a PKS, they will definitely say no. No, They will definitely say no. That's the reason why um, we're really going to be uh, doing a lot of invitation this afternoon. But anyway, you will not re really regret it. They, will, they have very good projects. Um, they, they said that they're going to run through the Plumera project, the Coral Village, the Forever Homes in Olongo, and they're going to um, uh, touch some few reopened there in the Kalawisan uh, projects. So there are so many projects um, that, that are really in line for John Dorf. And in fact, they said now after this one, if things goes well, they are going to recommend us for another PKS for the Mindanao uh, projects. And they have a lot there, actually. They have more projects there than here in, in, in Cebu. So please uh, join with us this afternoon. Um, it's still going to be the same meeting ID and the same password. No, and um, Mom Lynette is here joining with us. So um, sh she will be reminding you from time to time, sometime later, Sigoro. Okay. Now, I believe that these are all uh, quite number, a lot of new people here. Um, I've seen here Richard Edem, no? a, a, a friend of Mom Lynette. And by the way, tomorrow, Saturday morning, 9.45, about the same time, we will be having our grand recruitment, actually. Um, the reason is that all of the afternoon are so packed with PKS. Um, a lot of developers right now are really coming in, wanting to do the project presentation. 
we just don't have much of the time. So I've decided to put everything for the project presentation all afternoon. And we will just going to have one grand uh, recruitment rally on Saturday. That's tomorrow, Saturday morning at 9.45, uh, 9.45 a.m. Filipino time. Okay. So let's not mix up. Huh? When we say Filipino time, it means that it is on time. No, that's, that's what Filipino time means. Okay, let's go. Now, if you have your paper, uh, paper and pen there, that would be best so that you can take down some, some, note, some notes. And if ever uh, wala, because high tech na naman tayo ngayon, you can always do some screenshots actually. Okay? So, pero may mga ano kasi, may mga discussion na wala doon sa PowerPoint ko, but nasabi ko lang, so it's better that you can also take down notes. Okay? Now, let's start. No? Let's start. You, most of you right now have been attending some so-called PKS. Now, these are actually uh, project presentation done by our developers. Now, probably the first time you were there, you were quite um, uh, shocked because there are terminologies that you don't understand. Now, I, don't worry. What you have felt is normal. I felt the same way when I was uh, starting during that time. I feel strange. No, I feel strange. Why? Because that's not our usual and that's not even our normal. So that is really, really okay. So um, thank you for bearing all those attending the, the project presentation, although that there are terminologies there that you somehow find it very difficult to understand. Okay, let's run through some common terms that you have encountered already during the project presentation. Now, you have encountered the word amortization. No, I believe so. So, amortization is just simply the monthly installments, you know, the monthly payments that the buyer will going to have every time they're going to avail some projects. Either, either that's a house and lot, either that's a condominium or or a lot only project. So it doesn't really matter. So in short, yung monthly payments niya, yung buwana na payment niya, ang tawag dyan ay amortization. Now that's, that's how we call it. Second is that appraised value. Okay, This is usually, you will hear this actually during the time na nag-explain nag yung developer with regards to loanable amount. Okay, Now in the loanable amount, there are certain things there na ibig sabihin, that is the amount right after the payment of the down payment. So, young loanable amount, that is actually on the basis of the appraisal ng uh, property. So, sino bang mag appraise Okay. Simply, simply yung mga, mga financing institution. So, either si bank or si pag-ibig. And usually, yung appraisal, uh, yung appraisal nila are more or less the same yan. Okay? So, the value that is set on a certain property that is the appraised value, the appraiser, of course, is the one who appraises it. So it's also a profession. So usually it comes from pag-ibig or it comes from the bank. Now, when you talk about amenity, now these are actually the description in a subdivision or in a condominium that makes the project beautiful. So these are actually your clubhouses. These are your basketball courts. Uh, what are the gardens, the children's playground, the gym, whatever things that may appear beautiful for the community, that's what we call amenity. No? Or if it's plural, it's amenities. Now, amenity selling is very important because we are not only selling the project itself. We are not selling only the house. We are not selling only the condominium, but rather we are selling the community itself. We are trying to sell to them that this is how it would look like and this is how exactly it will feel if you are going to live in a community like this one. They have to feel that the place that they're going to transfer is no different from the community that they are experiencing right now. You know what? This is my experience. When you get to move from one place to the next, you will really find it difficult. Why? Because your heart is already attached to the current place where you are staying. That's, that's exactly uh, normal. No? Kasi matagal ka dyan, eh. you, you've stayed there quite longer. And somehow, you are, you are adapted already to the environment. 
Okay, hold on ha. Um, if I may continue. By the way, guys, um, there are a lot of people inside the room that are not yet actually able to hear me for reasons that they are uh, they were not able to click the headset button right at the right, right at the bottom part of the application they just click on it and click call via device no so we have here actually gretel and isidro villaplana isidro is okay doing good na gretel na lang no if anybody who invited gretel kindly chat chat her please so that she can also hear us no si sayang din okay so let's continue sorry for the interruption no? next is the balloon payment Now, balloon payment, you don't usually find it here in Cebu. Most of the project in the Luzon area has a balloon payment. So what is a balloon payment? Simply, a balloon payment means you started with a small amount of amortization, then gradually increasing year after year. Now, let's say, for example, the amortization in the first year is 5,000. On the second year, it becomes 8,000. On the third year, it becomes 12,000. Now, that's what we call balloon payment. It's getting bigger and bigger. Now, the Cebuano or the Visayan market or practically the Vismin market wasn't able to adapt with that kind of payment mode because this is the challenge. It's easy on the start and it's become harder on later part. So the compliance in terms of payment, the, the client will be caught off guard. So... What we, what the Cebuano market was actually looking is that if kaya ko sa umpisa, kaya ko all throughout. Uh, yun, ang, yun ang basis. In which, ako personally, this is my personal. I would rather prefer na pareho lang yung monthly payments kasi ito yung point ko. Yung monthly payments kani, kasi that will be fixed over a period of time. However, as we continue to work on our current job or current businesses, our salary greatly increases year after year. So, ibig sabihin, itong amortization mo, magiging maliit na lang to compared to the current salary that you will be receiving later on. Kasi may promotion ka, may increase in salary ka, or lumago yung negosyo. So, itong, itong monthly payments mo will be very, very manageable as compared to the one na you started low, then getting big, bigger and bigger. Okay. The other one is condominium. Now, in which right now we have so much condominium project all over the uh, or all over the country. Actually, it's not just here in 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 Cebu, but also in the other parts of the Visayas, and also a lot already coming in Mindanao. And of course, in the Greater Luzon area, there are so many condominium projects there. Now, later on, we're going to tackle because we have a separate discussion for condominium. But I believe there are a lot of questions for condominium later on. But I'll just park that word for a while. Then I'm gonna get back by the time that we will be discussing condominium. And also this one, condotel. No, so it's another variant of a condominium. This is actually a combination of both a condominium and a hotel. Now this is good because uh, your property, your investment actually will earn dividends because it will be operated as a hotel. Again, I'm going to tackle that separately when we go to the condominium. So deed of sale, of course, no, that's very self-explanatory. Um, that's actually the documents that have, that will be presented by the moment that the that the property will be purchased. Okay, then equity or uh, down payment. No, by the way, equity and down payment are the same. No, um, usually during our project presentations, we usually use the word um, equity. But your client, your buyer, actually will going to use most of them. Most of them, we are going to use the word down payment. So um, quite different, but the same in meaning. The other one is list price. Uh, actually, it's just it's just price list. No, it's just binaliktad lang list price or price list. It is the price of the property, excluding all the taxes. That's the price list actually. Because taxes is not part of the prices, man talaga. No, taxes are meant to be paid through the BIR. Okay. Next is mortgage. Oh, mortgage is loan or nakasanla. Uh, that's 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 the simple terminology there. Loan, mortgage, or sanla. Tapos rent to own. No, 
rent to own program ito ay if you were able to attend the PKS or the project presentation done by Deca Homes it was clearly an example of a rent to own program meaning there is a unit there that the entry to the availing the unit is you pay the rental over a period of number of years and after a number of years there would be an ownership process towards or going towards to the owner who rented the place so but not all projects are on a rent to own program that's a very limited uh, uh, projects actually but we can always explain the concept now we can always explain the concept of a rent to own program rent to own program concept is parang ano yan eh para bang para kang instead na mag rent kumuha ka na lang ng property rather than paying rental na hindi man naman ma, ma, mapunta sa iyo yung property eh kumuha ka na lang ng property kahit mag monthly ka at least nakatira na ka, nakatira ka na diyan magiging sa iyo pa in the future parang ganun yan okay so let's continue punch list Okay, now you're not going to appreciate it as of the moment because you're not experiencing it. But this is a very important document. Okay, you take note of that, punch list. This is a very important document because by the time that there will be a turnover of unit, ibig sabihin, pag tapos na po ang unit, tapos na lahat ng proseso sa loan, magta-transfer na ng property ang developer papunta doon sa bagong owner, may ibibigay sila na punch list. Ano bang nakapaloob sa punch list? Ang nakapaloob sa punch list are eight, anything that is actually uh, used in constructing the house. Kumbaga, ilalagay dyan, door, doorknob, toilet bowl, shower, lahat ho, tiles, cabinets, o meron ba? Lahat ho yan, jealousy, window, lahat ho, naka-itimize yan. Now, you as an agent, will facilitate your client in checking the unit. So, i-check nyo yan, isa-isa. Ma'am, pakicheck yung doorknob. Okay po ba, ma'am? Yes, check. Ma'am, pakicheck mo nga yung jealousy, kumplito ba yung mga blades? Okay, check. Okay, check, ma'am. Check mo nga, ma'am, i-open and close mo ba, ma'am, kung baka, baka may natanggal? Oh, check. Isa-isa yan. What is the purpose of that? Okay. The purpose of that, right after checking everything, and if everything is okay, The client or your buyer will going to affix the signature na okay ang unit. That piece of paper, bibit-bitin yan ng developer papunta doon kung saan siya nag-loan. Let's say for example, sa banko or sa pag-ibig. Bibit-bitin niya yung punch list na yan. Bakit ho? Kasi yung punch list na yan, yan po ang magiging katibayan na ang property ay gawa na at ayos na. Okay? Bakit? Acceptance form yan. Okay? So pag na-accept na yan, okay na. Ibig sabihin, etong bahay na to are in good condition. etong bahay na to are set for turnover. So tinanggap na ng buyer. Okay. Anong mangyari pag hindi mo gawin ng maayos yan? Ito ang mangyayari pag hindi mo gagawin ng maayos. Pag may sira dyan, kahit isa, ikaw ang babalikan ni kliyente. So, anong mangyayari? Pupunta ka sa developer. Ay, ma'am, sir, yung door na ba? Sira. Ano, alam mo ano ang sasagot ng developer? Ma'am, inaccept na po ninyo yan. Pinacheck ko pa nga sa iyo eh. Meron perma dito ni buyer eh. Ay ma'am, alam niyo ma'am, nagmamadali kasi kami eh. Kaya pinirmahan na lang ni buyer yan. Mali yan. Kailangan talaga ayusin. Ayusin. Para ho, pagdating ng panahon, walang sisihan. Walang sisihan. Maayos at gawin nating tama yung trabaho po natin. Okay? So, anyway, um, igagayad naman namin kayo no, as we go through this uh, uh, thing actually. Next is asset, of course. No? Yung property na binili mo, asset yan. Pagkatapos na may benta tayo, of course, commission. No? Ito, pinag-usapan natin to every now and then. Eh. Lease. Ang ibig sabihin ng lease ay upa, no? renta. Uh, so, it's a legal term lang, no? yung lease. Nung sinasabi natin lease, it's a contract, it's a legal contract patungkol doon sa rental. Next is ito. Okay. HLURB. Ito yung sinasabi ko, no? It, ito yung regulatory body na 
tumitingin sa mga activity related to real estate business. Okay, para itong NTC. Yung NTC, nakatingin siya kung ano yung magiging activity ng ABS-CBN, GMA, at iba't iba pa. Kasi siya yung nagre-regulate. So siya rin yung may kapasidad at kakayahan na mag-penalize. Ganito din ang HLURB. Sila rin ang may kakayahan na mag-penalize. Pag hindi tayo pumasa dyan, hindi tayo pwede mag-operate. Praise the Lord, CDPPI, certified ng HLURB. So kampanti kayo. Kampanti kayo kasi pumasa tayo dyan. Okay. Next is negotiable. That's self-explanatory. No? Every time when you talk to your client, you always negotiate. Then cash flow. No? Cash flow, ibig sabihin, ito ay usually pinag-usapan nyo pag ang binibenta mo ay kondo. No? Pag kondo yung binibenta mo, pinag-uusapan yan cash flow. Anong ibig sabihin ng cash flow? Pera na pumapasok dun sa buyer. So bakit po? Kasi kadalasan sa condominium project, ginagamit nila for business. Paupahan yan. Rental ang business ng condominium. Kaya nga, eh, maraming bumibili ng condominium kasi maraming nagninegosyo dyan for the rental. Tapos title, no? self-explanatory, that's titulo. Uh, landmark. Ano ba yung landmark? Um, importante ang landmark kasi itong landmark, ito yung magbigay ng idea dun sa client na pag dito na siya tumira, komportable lang siya. Ano ang mas mga dapat mong i-highlight na mga landmark? If na-notice nyo every time yung mga, mga developers na nag-present ng mga project sa atin, na, na-notice nyo, parating sinasabi yung mga proximity kung saan malapit yung project nila. Bakit ho? Kasi we are selling convenience and community. Una ho, dapat ma-identify ng client saan malapit ang school. Either public or private. Pangalawa ho, um, government centers, government agency, health center, barangay, cent, uh, barangay hall, city hall, municipal hall. Kailangan ma-identify po yan. Bakit? Kasi may mga government transactions tayo. Number three, saan ang basic commodity? Saan ang palengke? No? Saan ang palengke? Saan pwede mag-grocery? Yan. Saan mamili ng uh, mga other basic needs? Apat, Hospital. Saan banda ang hospital? Kasi hindi natin may iwasan may mga pagkakataon magkakasakit. Hospital and clinics, importante yan. Lima, dapat, ma dapat maintindihan o malaman ng client saan ang terminal at saan ang sakayan. Bakit ito? Kasi every single day in our life, nagbabiyahe ho tayo papuntang trabaho, papuntang kung saan-saan. So dapat alam ng buyer mo na ma'am, pag dito ka pag dito ka na tumira ma'am, dito lang po ang sakayan ng tricycle, dito lang po ang sakayan ng jeep at doon po ang terminal ma'am, isang ride lang po to papuntang terminal kung gusto niyo pong pumunta sa ibang town. Ganun no ang pag-explain. Bakit to? Because you wanted to deliver a message doon sa client mo na it doesn't really matter ma'am even if you are staying in your place na comfortable ka na ngayon. Paglilipat ka dito, lahat ng mga conveniences mo nandito pa rin. Have you feel, have you felt this way? Ako na nanasan ko to eh kasi dati nang upahan ako eh. I stayed on the place quite longer. Lumipat ako sa bagong bahay, bagong inupahan ko. I feel uneasy kasi hindi ko alam saan mamalengke, saan bang barangay hall, saan ako maggrocery, hindi ko alam saan ang saan ang sakayan. I feel uncomfortable. Pero By the time na katong lumipat but by the time na lumipat na ako dito sa sa tinirahan ko ngayon dito sa Cordova na sa Cordova ako eh. Um, I was already familiar with the place. I know where are the schools, I know where are uh, the uh, the public markets, I know where the, where I go to grocery, where's the hospital and everything. So I just felt comfortable. Why? Because I know where to go by the time that I'm gonna move in. So that is the same feeling that you need to bring into your buyer that they have to feel that it's really okay for me to stay here. It's really convenient for me to stay here. Alam niyo, friends, ito lang yon. If there is one thing na mahirap talaga i-detach, no? mahirap i-detach ba? Bahay mo. Kasi komportable ka dyan eh. Komportable ka. It's not about the kung gano'ng kalaki ang bahay. It's not about that. Because you are get used to the place. No? Ayan, nag, nag chat dito si Jane. Taga Cordova din para, pala siya. No? Okay, hello Jane. Ka, kababayan ko pala yan. No? 
So tuloy tayo. Kababayan mo parang kung saan galing ng bansa, no? <laughs> anyway, da, ayan, down payment, no? Down payment kasi the same lang po 'yan sa equity. Yan, condo juice, no? Ito yung juice. Um, ano 'yan eh? Hindi lang 'yan condo juice, eh. da, pwede rin 'yan subdivision juice. Um, pag pag nakatira na po tayo sa isang community like condominium or subdivision, uh, there are certain juice that we need to pay. Para saan po yan? To where that will go? Number one, that will be for the maintenance, of course, number one, of the community. May maintenance yung community. The roads, the lights, the street lights, everything. Second is that security, the guards. No? Um, I don't know with, uh, with other subdivision. In our case, we have our guard in, in the, at the gate. And at the same time, we do have a roving guard. And at the same time, uh, all of the subdivision are installed with CCTV. That is part of our payment for the Jews. Kasi binimintain yan. Pangatlo is garbage collection. Uh, Imposible kasi wala tayong garbage. Eh. So there will be a garbage collection. Now there are cases that garbage collection will be done by private. So binabayaran yan ng homeowners. And there are cases also that it is initiated by the local government. At still, we still have to pay for for that, for the collections of waste management. So that will form part of all the condominiums. And for Tuan Ho, um, there would be some extra fees in order for the subdivision to maintain it. And sometimes there are events that will be held inside the subdivision. Just like, for example, in our place, in our community here, um, we, have regular, uh, we, we have regular masses here inside the subdivision. Why? Because that's what has been decided by the, I know, by the homeowners association together with the management of, uh, of the subdivision. So there is a maintenance for that. There is a payment for that. So that's part of the subdivision juice that we were paying. Now during summer, there are sports activity inside the community. We have swimming lesson. We have basketball lesson. We have we have all types of lesson. We we the the homeowners. Management will invite some teacher to teach for the children inside the community. So we need to pay for that as well. So those are part that will always depend on the subdivision on how are they going to manage the entire subdivision. Of course, everything, ay may bayad po yan. Kasi hindi naman po libre yan eh. Uh, and, and sometimes, me as, for example, me as a homeowner, gusto ko yun. Kasi I don't have to go out para dun sa mga anak ko para mag-aral ng ng any types of sports, I just have to stay in the inside the subdivision. So, mas safe and mas secure. So, I am willing to pay. Diba? Okay? So, next, ano pa ba yan? Um, rental. Oh, pinag-usapan na natin yan. Yan, VAT. Uh, tax. Uh, yan, pina- parating sinasabi yan doon sa um, uh, every time may mga project presentation tayo. Ito lang yung, ito lang yung isang uh, statement ko with regards to taxes. Habang buhay ho, hanggang mamatay tayo, may tax. So wag na ninyong isipin na kailan kaya mawawala yan. <laughs> Hindi yan mawawala. No? Lalo na to, a purchase of the property will always pass by the BIR. And mind you, right after this, right after this pandemic, this uh, COVID-19, the government will really be strict. Again, huh? the government will really be strict in collecting taxes because we need the funds. We really need the funds. Tapos, the last word is reservation. Every time we purchase and we buy a property, there will always be a reservation fee. Diba? Usually, narinig nyo yan sa mga project presenter. Reservation fee, 5,000, 10,000. That reservation fee will be deducted to the total amount. No? That reservation fee, again, ha? that reservation fee will be deducted to the total amount of the property. So, Kung magkano yung, let's say for example, yung property ay 1.5 million, tapos yung reservation fee is 10,000, yung 10,000 ikakaltas doon sa 1.5 million. Yung natira na lang ang babayaran, in short. So whatever payment we are going to make with regards to the property, ididak po yan lahat doon sa kabuuhang property, except the taxes, because taxes goes to the government actually. So ito na tayo, types of houses. Sige, arangkada na tayo. Sandali ha, drink muna ako.
Okay. Now, there are types of houses. Now, I believe that you have been attending um, a lot of orientations already, um, a lot of this, uh, project presentations. And there have been a lot of description already. And a lot of you are already familiar. But again, for the purpose of this training, so that all of us will really be onboarded. No? Um, number one, okay, let's go to the type of house. We have here the row house. Okay. You can screenshot that para you will have reference. That's a row house. Project that are, that are presenting row house, you have Bria, right? The other one is that, and I'm going to differentiate both. The other one is townhouse. Okay, what is the difference between a townhouse and a row house? The only difference is this. This one is one story. This one is two story. But both of them are, anong nakikita nyo? Anong na-observe nyo? Dikit-dikit. Nakahilera. Nakaline. So both row house and a townhouse, nakahilera yan. The difference is that this is a two-story and this one is a one-story. Okay. Let's go to the next. The next one is duplex. Okay. From the word do, that's double. So, dalawang bahay na magkadikit, but kung titingnan mo yan, parang isa. Di ba? Uh, look at the picture. It looks like one, but it is actually two. One on the left and one on the right. Okay. Now, it is divided by a wall right at the middle. Yan. Nakikita nyo yan. There's a wall right at the middle. Hold on, not. Tignan ko kung may power, uh, may pointer ba ako dito. Para mag-point na lang ako. Wala akong nakita. Anyway, so here, no? So that is duplex. Most of the duplex are actually delivered on a two-story. But there are also cases that duplex are one-story. So regardless if it is one story or a two story, as long as magkadikit yan kaliwaan, we call that as a duplex. Okay, yun ang tawag natin, duplex. Okay. Ito lang ho, yung nasa gitna, tingnan nyo. That's a firewall. Just take notice of the firewall. Pag may firewall po, ibig sabihin, duplex po yan. Next is, itong tinatawag natin na single. Ang single ay dalawa po, single attached at yung isa po ay single detached. Okay. Ano yung kaibahan ng attached at saka detached? Okay. Ito po. Yung attached, nakikita nyo sa pinakadulo yung uh, tingnan natin kung mak mak makita ba yung arrow ko. Yan, makita nyo yung firewall. Yan, may firewall. That firewall actually, ibig sabihin, naka-attach siya sa boundary ng property line. Okay. Pag naka-attach siya sa boundary ng property line, ang tawag dyan ay attach. Okay. Siguro maganda pag i-drawing ko. Sandali ha. Down ko muna. Drawing natin para mas maayos. Okay. Yan. So nakikita nyo naman, no? Now, yung ano, yung yung attached Um, uh, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to navigate myself here. Okay. Yung attach, okay. if this is the property line, pasensya na po sa... If this is the lot, okay, if, that's, if that is the lot, the property is attached to one end or any side of the property. So, in our case, in the picture that we show, the property or the house is attached to the end part here. It's attached here. Yan, it's attached dyan. Meaning, what is left na vacant, yung house niya, is dito lang, nasa... Yan. So ito, this one, this is vacant lot. Ito ang wall or end part ng lot. Okay. 
So ang tawag dyan ay single attach. Yung single detach, if this is the square of your lot, no? ang detach ay actually, ang bahay is nasa gitna ng property line. Ibig sabihin, right on the side, this one, are all spaces, are all vacant lot. So ito yung attached, three sides lang yung ang free. Yung, at, yung detached are four sides ang free. So yun po ang kaibahan ng dalawa. Okay? So balik natin tong ano slides. Okay, there. So this is a single attached. So it is attached to one side of the property line. The other one is single detached. It's right at the middle of the property line. Now, a single attached and a single detached, pwede siyang one story, pwede rin siyang two story. Okay? So, but most of the single attached and single detached po ay two story. Mostly sa mga binibenta po natin ay two story. Rare lang po na merong one story. Rare lang. So most of the projects we have are single, detached, or attached, but two-story. Okay, let's continue. Okay, here. Now, this is a very important thing that you need to remember. Now, please have it screenshot or please uh, take down notes. And I will explain its relevance one by one. And I hope you're going to take down some notes with it. Okay, this is very important. Okay, now by the time that you and I will be engaged in the social media, your buyer or your prospect clients will have a lot of questions. Will have a lot of questions. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because all is just about information. All is just about information. As long as you have the information, you don't have nothing to worry about. You can just perfectly be able to answer it. So in the real estate business, remember this. In the real estate business, you don't need sales talk. Again, eh? hindi mo kailangan sales talk. Hindi mo kailangan magaling mag sales talk. Kaya nga always sinasabi ko dito eh kadalasan sa mga salesman na pumasok bilang isang real estate agent hindi po nagsasucceed kasi akala nila about sales talk ito hindi ho. Alam mo ang kung ano ang mga kung sino ang mga nagsasucceed sa real estate? Tingnan niyo ang mga real estate agent sa labas. That is 80% mothers. Again, ha? I'm not saying na hindi pwedeng lalaki, but 80% of the mothers are successful in the real estate business. Bakit ho? Bakit nyo sa tingin successful ang mga mothers sa real estate business? Ito po, number one. Ang mga nanay po, magaling magpaliwanag. Tama po ba ang mga nanay magaling magpaliwanag? Okay, ganito yan. Bakit magaling magpaliwanag ang nanay? Ang mga anak, pag may hihingin at hindi kayang ibigay ng nanay, kayang ipaliwanag ng nanay na hindi masasaktan ang anak. Tama po ba? Hindi. Tama. Pero sabi ng mga anak ko, mas magaling silang magpaliwanag kaysa nanay nila. Uh, ganun, no? But anyway, my point here is this. There are a lot of people that are successful in the real estate business are those people are those people that can present the information. So ano ang labanan dito sa real estate? Gathering of information. That is ang labanan sa real estate. That is the reason why we are putting a lot of project review. Importante po ang mga project review natin. Yung, yung ina-attend nyo every afternoon, importante po yan. Bakit to? Because those are the source of your information. Those are the information that your buyer will one day will going to ask about. 
Okay. Balik tayo dito sa screen. These are the things that you need to remember. Number one, total units in a project. I don't know if you take notice of that. But every time na may mga project presentation, sinasabi ng presenter kung ilang houses ang ibibuild nila dyan. Sinasabi din nila kung gano'ng kalaki ang area. Bakit ho? Kasi, simple logic lang yan. Ang gusto ng tao, community. Ayaw niyang tumira na siya lang mag-isa. Bakit kayo? Gusto niyang tumira sa isang lugar na kayo lang mag-isa? Hindi ho. You're trying to portray a community that if you live in this community, ganito karami, hindi naman siya crowded, pero masaya siya. Bakit ho? Because there is a community. There is a life. Second, the reason why it is important to know bakit sinasabi nila, because there are buyers also that are particular sa size ng subdivision. May mga buyers dyan. May mga buyers na gusto niyang, gusto niyang may kasama sa subdivision pero hindi niya gusto na marami sa subdivision. May mga taong ganon. Okay? So it is important that you need to know how many units in that project. Second, total units available. Okay, I don't know kung na-notice nyo to, pero every time na may project presentation, sinasabi nila na ito na lang ang number of units available. Now, let's say for example, kahapon si Bria, sinabi niya, may six units available na lang kami. Nung sa Sibulan Master, may 200 units kaming available. Bakit po? Why is it that they have to tell that? Because you're going to sell what is available. Hindi naman kayo, hindi naman yung binebenta yung sold na, di ba? Logic will tell you nang ibebenta natin yung available. So dapat alamin natin saan ang mga available. So sinabi niya na may 200 available ka, ka tayo jan. Pero ang tanong saan ba yung 200 na yan? Yan. So kailangan natin humingi sa kanila ng mapa. Di ba may mapa sa subdivision? Okay, kaya nga sinasabi doon sa group chat, may, may map pa kayo ma'am? Oh, bakit? Kasi makikita doon saan ang available units. Okay? Importante yan. Pangatlo, types of houses offered. Ano nga yung type of houses na ino-offer natin? May row house tayo? May townhouse? Ano pa? May duplex, may single attach, at saka single detach. Okay. Bakit po importante na alam mo kung anong house ang binibuild ng developer na yan? Bakit po? Kasi, pag may nagtanong, ay, sir, gusto ko ng property na okay lang ako, townhouse. Eh ngayon, ang binigay mo na developer, yung project pala niya, Duplex. Eh, hindi nag-meet sa requirement. So, para ma-match po natin yan. So, ka, dapat alam mo para ma-match mo si buyer. Doon sa gusto niya. Okay. Number four. Lot area and floor area. Every time na may project presentation po, eto po ay pinipresent. Ewan ko lang kung nakikinig ba kayo nito, but importante po to. Wala pong tao na bumibili ng lupa na hindi nagtatanong kung gano'n ba kalaki ang lupa. Bakit kayo? Pag bumili kayo ng lupa, hindi ba kayo magtatanong gano'n ba ito kalaki? Kahit nga bibili ng simenteryo, magtatanong nga gano'n kalaki. Loop, bahay at lupa pa kaya? ba? Diba? So, it is a standard question. So you need to know what is the size of the lot. Second, you need to know also the size of the house. Bakit ho? Because ang tao na nagtatanong sa iyo, gusto niya kahit papano ma-picture gaano kalaki ang property na bibilhin niya. And the only way to quantify the size is through the lot area and the floor area. There is no other way ho. To, to quantify the sizes. Lot area and the floor area. So, dapat memorize ninyo yan. 
Dapat kabisado ninyo yan. Dapat alam ninyo yan. Bakit ito? Kasi standard yan na itatanong. Okay. Next. Panglima. Mga specific so sa bahay. Ilang bedroom. Ilang toilet and bath. Kitchen, living, dining. May garage po ba yan? Ano po bang mga amenities na nandyan? May basketball court ba? May clubhouse ba? May volleyball court ba? May swimming pool ba? May gym ba? Bakit ho? Di ba sabi ko dati or a while ago, now you are selling a community. You are not just selling a house. They have to picture out what it feels to be in that community. And most of the people, pag magtanong sa'yo if nag-interest siya na bumili ng bahay, always yan magtatanong, ilang kwarto ba to? CR, ilang CR? May CR ba sa taas? May CR ba sa baba? Ay, may sasakyan ako eh. May garage ba to? May mga tanong na ganun. Those are standard, fixed questions at times. At eto ay pabalik-balik na tanong. Hindi po to once in a blue moon, blue moon na question. These are repetitive questions. So every time that you will post a project, you've got to know that. Okay? Ulitin ko ha. Bedroom, toilet, and bath, kitchen, living, dining. Alamin mo kung may garage ba? Ilista mo ang mga amenities. Kasi kakailanganin mo yan para i-promote mo doon sa buyer mo. Okay? Next. Nearest accessibility. Ito yung pinag-usapan natin kanina. Yung mga landmarks. Nearest accessibility or landmarks. Importante ang landmarks because yan po ang magdidictate kung gaano ka-convenient manirahan sa subdivision na in-offer mo. Kasi kung hindi niya ma-picture na convenient ang subdivision na yan, eh bakit ako titira dyan? Ba Wala akong rason na mag-transfer sa bagong location na yan kung pag-transfer ko magiging inconvenient lang ako. Dapat alam ko kung saan pwedeng mag-aral ang mga anak ko. Dapat saan alam alam ko kung saan ang school, either pub public or private. Dapat alam ko kung saan ako mamalengke, saan ako maggrocery. Dapat kung may may gusto akong puntahan sa mga government agency kung kailangan kong um, kailangan kong pumunta ng health center, barangay hall or municipal or city hall, dapat alam ko. No? Kasi may, kay, kakailanganin mo kumuha ng sidula. Eh eh pag hindi mo alam saan ang barangay hall, eh, saan ka kukuha ng sidula? Di ba? So, ibig sabihin, those are the things that are really so basic. Then, dapat alam mo rin kung saan sasakay. Kasi every now and then, pumupunta ka sa trabaho. Every now and then, gusto mo mamasyal. In short, you have a life. So, dapat alam mo saan, saan sumakay. Saan kaya ang terminal dito? Ma'am, sumakay lang po kayo dyan ng tricycle. Tapos, doon po sa bandang dulo may... Nandun po yung terminal natin. Nandun yung terminal ng jeepney. Nandun yung terminal ng vehicle. You have to know that. Jof, paano ko yan malalaman? Madali lang ho. Madaling malaman yan ngayon. Alam mo ang sikreto paano malaman yan? Ayan, it's very simple. Punta ka ni Google. Punta ka ni Google. Tapos i-Google mo dun. Uh, let's say for example, hindi mo kabisado ang lugar sa Cagayan de Oro. Ay, punta ka sa Google. Uh, government Center in Cagayan de Oro. Ayan, nakalista yan dyan. Hospitals in Cagayan de Oro. Ayan, nakalista yan dyan. Private School in Cagayan de Oro. Ayan, nakalista yan dyan. So, ibig sabihin, si Google ho ang pinakamatalik mong kaibigan dito. So, kung may mga tanong ka, Huwag kang mahiyang magtanong. Hindi right med yan. Google yan. <laughs> Punta ka sa Google. Punta ka kay Google. Huwag mahiyang magtanong kay Google kasi may answer siya doon. Okay? So ganun ho, ka-convenient itong negosyo natin. Information. Alam nyo, hanapan ng information lang to eh. At dapat matinig ka dyan. Okay? So yun, no? nearest accessibility. Importante po yan because you are trying to explain to your buyer. Alam nyo kaibigan, etong mga to mga information, hindi kailangan ng sales talk. Again ha, hindi kailangan ng sales talk. Kailangan mo lang maipalawanag to. 
Next, reservation fee at saka yung presyo. Napakapangit naman pag nag-uusap kayo ng nagbebenta ka ng bahay pero ikaw mismo hindi mo alam yung presyo. Isan e mo ba makukuha yung presyo na yan? E dun sa price list, saan pa ba? Di ba? Kaya nga may sinishare na mga documents doon eh, sa group chat, mga price list. Doon makikita ang tinatawag natin na reservation fee at saka yung price range. Bakit importante yan? Importante yan, friends. Bakit? E paano magbabayad yung kliyente natin pag, pag hindi natin na i-present yung mga payment terms? Di ba? Reservation fee, price range, and payment terms. Hindi siya makapag-decide. Ito, friends, remember, remember mo to. Mahirap mag-decide ang isang tao pag hindi niya alam kung ano yung pinasok niya. Kadalasan ho sa mga bumibili ng bahay, ang, ang parating iniisip talaga niya ay kung kaya ba niyang bayaran to. Yan always po. At para makapag-decide siya kung kaya ba niyang bayaran o hindi, dapat ho makita niya yung mga payment terms. Kasi kung hindi niya makita yan, hindi siya makapag-decide. So kailangan talaga makita yan para makapag-decide. Okay? Friends, ganito lang yan. Lahat ng information na yan, nasa price list yan. Lahat ng information na yan, pinipresenta yan every time may project presentations. So kailangan mo lang, no? kailangan mo lang aralin. Makikita yan dyan. So walang overnight, huwag kayong matakot, no? walang overnight success po dito sa negosyo natin. Balang araw, maintindihan nyo lahat ng mga sinasabi ko kasi ito ay pabalik-balik lang. Okay? So let's continue. Yan, price list. Yan yung, just in case hindi nyo nakita yung itsura ng price list. So ipapakita ko lang to Yan ang itsura ng price list. So nandyan yung mga payment terms dyan. Magkano yung reservation fee, magkano yung uh, down payment, magkano yung monthly, at magkano yung iloloan. So nakadetalye yan. But anyway, huwag kayong maproblema dyan kasi i-explain yan ng mga project presenters natin. Tapos yan, ito yung mapa sinasabi ko na kailangan mong malaman yung available unit kasi yun ang ibebenta natin. Kailangan mo ng map para makita ng buyer mo kung saan ang bakante kasi dyan niya mapicture kung saan siya banda gustong kumuha. Ay, dito ako, gusto ko dito kasi gusto ko tahimik dito, dapita. Dito banda, o, oh, konte lang kami. So, importante po yan. So, by the time na may mga buyers kayo, humingi kayo ng mapa. Okay? Tapos, vicinity map para ituntunin yung location. No? Sana ako maganap ng Jove. Again, kay Google pa rin. No? Google Earth lahat yan. No? Okay. Ito ho. Ito yung mga common payment terms. The spot cash, deferred cash, or 20% down payment, 30% or 40% down payment. Hindi ko na masyadong itouch yan kasi repetitive, balik pa balik balik tayo dyan eh. Nakasaad lahat yan sa price list. Ito lang yung importante, my friends. Pag may pag mga spot cash, may mga ano po yan, may mga yung sinasabi natin mga discounts. Magtanong lang tayo sa ano natin sa ano ba yon? Sa mga project presenter sa mga discounts. Okay, sa mga discounts. Tapos yan, deferred cash and 20, 30, 40% Uh, mga down payment. Okay? So, I hope na may, may learnings po tayo. No? May learnings po tayo ngayon. It's already 10.39. Okay? Just in time. Okay? One hour lang po ang inallocate natin para hindi po information over, o, 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 overload. Okay? Next week po, pag-usapan natin condominium. No? Next Friday po, pag-usapan natin ng condominium. We will just take learning slowly one after the other while you are learning also attending project presentation. Ibaba ko lang muna to ha para magkakita tayo face to face. Okay. My suggestion is that you keep attending the project presentation every afternoon. Bakit po? Because doon sa project presentation, doon po lahat ma-explain kung ano patungkol sa project. 
Second, it will give you a familiarization. Pagdating natin sa training natin, it will be easier for you to conceptualize. Ang akin lang po, yung things to remember, i-remember nyo. Kasi yon ang mga questions na itatanong ng mga buyers po natin. Lahat to tayo. Okay? Palakihan ko muna yung screen. Yan. Marami-rami tayo ngayon. We are actually around 52. No? And I do hope that you are actually uh, able to learn. May, may, may natutunan po ba tayo? No? May question po ba? Sige, ganito na lang. Uh, I have around 4 minutes left. Bago mag 10.45 kasi 1 hour yung allocation natin. Kasi may activity pa tayo ngayong hapon eh. May question po ba? Ay, ito, sandali. Sir, pwede po pakipost din sa GC kung saan pwede maka-watch aside sa Zoom. Ito ma'am, live to sa YouTube. Sa YouTube kung nilalagay yung training, subscribe ninyo lang yung YouTube na sinen sa mga group chat nyo. Okay? Um, second, every every project presentation natin naka-live yan sa Facebook group natin. Sa D818 Premier Properties Incorporated Facebook group. Exclusive group po yan. Now, hindi yan makikita sa hindi na paloob doon sa group. So, kung gusto mong makita yan, sabihan mo yung upline mo na, na i-add ka doon sa group chat. Ah, no, so sa, sa Facebook group na yon para ma-view mo ang mga videos ng mga project presentation. Okay? Uh, D818 Premier Properties Incorporated yan. Close group yan. So hindi yan nakikita ng ibang tao. Okay? So sa mga group members lang po yan. Okay? So, but again, I would highly suggest that if you could join the Zoom because dito, uh, focus kasi yung mind natin dito eh. Okay? Any other question? Maliban doon. Any more question? Okay. So, sa tingin ko wala na no and I will not keep you be, uh, long also because my I believe that you also have some some uh, some other things to to do. Um guys, uh, I would like to personally invite you to join with us later this afternoon. I know you're so busy. But it would mean a lot if you could be there uh, this afternoon for the John Dorf PKS. It will be the same meeting uh, ID and the password at the same time. Um, if uh, I'm sorry, guys, no, I I cannot really familiarize everything uh, with your names. Um, um, if you are actually um, if you are actually invited by doon sa Facebook page, doon sa Facebook page na wanted real estate agent. Um, ako po ang nagmamanage ng Facebook page na yan. So, ibig sabihin, ako yung kausap nyo na nagchat-chat. So, pakiano na lang po, paki, paki add na lang ako dun sa Facebook talaga, huwag dun sa page para magka-communicate tayo. Um, Facebook, uh, Facebook account na usually ginagamit ko for real estate is DPPI Headquarters po. Mag-search nyo lang, DPPI Headquarters. Please, pag-send request kayo dun, para mag-usap tayo. Pakilala lang kayo na sir, ako yung kausap mo sa Facebook page ng Wanted Real Estate Agent. 'Di ba may Facebook page ako na Wanted Real Estate Agent at doon kayo nag-apply. So ako yung kausap nyo, ako yung magiging mentor nyo. Then uh, please uh, help me out lang kasi medyo ang dami talaga hindi ko ma-isa-isa ma uh, favor na lang, favor na lang. Add nyo sa Facebook DPPI headquarters tapos I-chat nyo ako at magpapakilala kayo para ilagay ko kayo sa isang group chat para doon tayo mag-chat-chat para mas, ma mas madali at makita natin agad-agad. Okay? So, 10.44 na po. I wanted to stick to the, to the time lang talaga kasi ito yung ano ko para may hapon pa naman mamaya. Next Friday, ang pag-uusapan natin ay condominium. The same time po, 9.45 next Friday, ang pag-uusapan natin ay condominium naman. So, pa isa isa sana ho may mga learnings tayo. Thank you and God bless you. Bye bye. Salamat, sir. Thank you, thank you.